So in this session, we're going to look at the 20 bones that make up the forelimb of the horse. We're going to use Chris Gregory's acronym SHUR to remember the, the larger bones of the proximal region of the limb. And then we just need to practice drawing the bones to be able to remember all of them. So first of all, we start out with the scapula, the shoulder blade, and then off that we have the humerus. We don't have to be really accurate with the uh, shape of the bone. We just need to be able to locate them and name them. Practicing drawing is probably the easiest way. I think most farriers are visual learners. Now we're down to the carpal joint. We have two rows of small bones or regular shaped bones that form the, the carpal joint. Below that we have the metacarpal or cannon bone and it's associated small bones, the two small metacarpals. Then we have the long pastern, the short pastern, and then the most important bone for farriers of all, the coffin bone. And we want to be careful to draw it in at a slight angle to the floor. So again, we have 20 bones in total. We have one, two, three, four that make up the proximal region. We have seven that make up the two rows of small bones. Sometimes there will be an additional bone in the carpal joint. Then we have three metacarpals. We have two sesamoids. We have three phalanges and then one distal sesamoid or navicular bone. So we'll begin by naming, naming them. So we have the scapula. the humerus, the radius, and the ulna. And below that we have seven carpals. Sometimes there will be an additional one. And we have three metacarpals. These are called metacarpals because meta means beyond in this case. So the bones that are directly beyond the carpal joint or knee of the horse are called the metacarpals. And there are three of them, the cannon bone and the two splint bones. Then we have the first phalange. Our long pastern bone. The second phalange or short pastern bone and then of course the third phalange or coffin bone. In addition we have two proximal sesamoids and one distal sesamoid also known as the navicular. So S H U R gives us the four proximal bones then we have seven sometimes eight small bones that form the uh, two rows of the carpal joint. We have three metacarpals, also known as the cannon bone and the two splint bones. We have the two proximal sesamoids. Then we have the long pastern or first phalange, the short pastern or second phalange, the coffin bone, 
third phalange and the navicular bone or distal sesamoid. And that gives us 20 bones in total.